the Health Watch tonight. Huge news when it comes to fighting cancer. There is a major breakthrough. A Port St. Lucie woman says she was preparing to die until an experimental treatment saved her life. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook explains how it works. I had a mastectomy. I had all my lymph nodes out. Ten years later, 2013, I felt another lump on the same side and this time it ended up being stage four. So I entered the world of cancer patient, serious cancer patient. Despite hormonal and chemotherapy, by 2015 the cancer had spread to her chest and liver. I came to realize that I was going to die and that's where my mind was. You know, I felt bad for my family, but I was grateful for the life I had had. But then she found Dr. Steven Rosenberg at the National Institutes of Health. So we're looking at lymphocytes. He's a pioneer in harnessing the immune system to fight cancer. Dr. Rosenberg and his team sequenced the DNA of one of her tumors to find out which mutations were unique to her cancer. They then found the tiny percentage of her immune cells programmed to recognize those mutations, grew them into large numbers, and injected them back into her bloodstream. You take a patient's own cells, you attack their own cancer with their own cells, and you attack a unique mutation that's present in their cancer and none others. Perkins was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2003. Ten years later, it came back and had spread. Her cancer did not respond to any treatments, including chemotherapy and hormone therapy, until this one-time treatment with more personalized immunotherapy. In six months, you went from widely metastatic cancer, it's in your liver, it's in your chest wall, it's in lymph nodes, to totally gone. Yep. It was quite a relief to see that, you know, it wasn't coming back. It was all gone. While much more study is needed, researchers say because all cancers have mutations, this approach could potentially be used to treat many different types of cancer. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, Rockville, Maryland. And we don't want to offer any false hope, so let's emphasize this. The researchers say that this treatment right now is in its infancy. They're not anywhere near ready to offer these kinds of results to all cancer patients out there. But since cancer touches so many people in this country and around the world, any kind of development, any kind of advancement is going to be good news. Or any case of a miracle like that or a seeming miracle, a cure after stage four cancer is pretty amazing. Absolutely.